was thinking now, it's yeah. a beautiful day to enjoy an ice cream. I agree. Yeah, totally agree. Hmm. <laughs> Nerd. Yeah. Welcome to the store at the show where we beat up nerds in slow motion. No, it's not. This is the show where we distort time to show you things you might otherwise miss with the human eye. I'm David. I'm Mauricio. And today, we're gonna show you how you can slow down a yo-yo. Bully. Yo. 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 Yes. Yeah. Clever. You owe me an ice cream. Um, <laughs> I, owe you, I owe you one ice cream. <laughs> you owe me a You owe ice me cream. a yo-yo because that messed up. Did it mess up your yo-yo? A yo-yo is good. It was uh, lactose intolerant. <laughs> Today we're talking to Dr. Popular, AKA. Doc Pop. A multi-talented San Francisco-based artist. So you are a uh, comic book artist. You are a phenomenal experimental photographer. You do some awesome Game Boy music and, and iOS music. I don't see. You decided that wasn't geeky enough. You, you geeked it up a little bit more, and uh, you are a professional yo yoer. Professional yo yoer. Professional yo yoer. Professional yo yoer? Professional yo yoer. Nerd level, very high up there. You cranked it up to 11. Yeah. And here's what nerd level 11 looks like when time is distorted. <laughs> I understand you're ranked number three in, in Cuba? Uh, third in the world. Third in the world? Yeah, not, not, not just not Cuba. third world champion. I am okay. third in the world. So there's this thing called the World Yo-Yo Contest. It happens different places. It was in Orlando. I competed. Uh, people came from all around. The first two places were from Japan. So it's like very technical, just trying to speed your way through as many tricks as possible. Right. But then if you do something successfully that people haven't seen before, that's brand new, uh, then that's gonna really help out. And, and that's kind of what I'm known for, is making up a lot of tricks. It's cool, you, you see it in slow motion, and uh, a, lot of, a lot of what you're doing this yo-yoing is, uh, is motion. Uh, you're not thinking about moves, you're just thinking about things that you have to do. Uh, and actually seeing the, uh, the tricks uh, with intent to them, it's really neat. It's really awesome to, uh, to actually go, oh, my finger is hitting that string rather yeah. than my hand moves from left to right. When you're flowing from trick to trick, it's not a routine, you're kind of freestyling your way through it. At least it looks like it to me. This kind of this jazz improv thing going on. It's, it's probably, you mentioned jazz, I never really thought of that before, but uh, I imagine jazz musicians practice so much that it's almost muscle memory for them. Right. Uh, and that's all it is for me. It's just kind of like a, a series of, of motions put together without very little thought. Just, right. just kind of going back to the things my body likes to do and, uh -huh. and hoping that that makes a cool trick instead of a knot. A knot? Yeah. A knot, like twisted up string. He's pretty precise. Yeah, precise. He's like a yo-yo samurai. You know, it's funny you say that because this comes from your warrior training because the yo-yo is actually a Filipino weapon. That's, tr that's not that's, true. <sighs> that's not, that's a total myth. But it's a great myth, it sounds awesome. Well, that's disappointing. The story goes, Philippine immigrant Pedro Flores manufactures the yo-yo here in the US. And then American inventor Donald Duncan, he sees the yo-yo and loves it. Donald Duncan bought the company from him, but kept kept him Duncan. on. Duncan, Duncan Yoyos, yeah, I Duncan know that Yoyos. name. Yeah. The two then create this mythology to give the toy a cool story. Bro. It was marketing. Yeah, it's great marketing, man. No, the uh, the the yo-yo thing is a total myth. The, the word is uh, the Filipino. Philippines. Yeah, it's Tagalog for merciless warrior. No, it means come back. Tell me it's true. Just, just say. But no, I'm not going to say it's true. Just I'm not going to propagate that no. myth for you. Just play along with You're going to have to edit. <laughs> Challenge accepted. The yo-yo was a weapon. No, because I'm not. No, I'm not. There doing it is. That. <laughs> I'm not doing that. You just said it. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
If you have questions for Dr. Popular, hit him up on Twitter. He's at twitter.com slash docpop. That's right. Convince him that the warrior yo-yoer is a thing. Let him know I said so on twitter.com slash malbrowncow. And I'm at DL Prager. Make sure to subscribe to the show for more awesome distortions. Mm -hmm. And comment below. Let us know the story of the first time you defended your honor with a yo-yo. Let it go, Mal. Let it go. So, so tell me about your precision. Like, you have no qualms. Like, if I stick out my finger, you have no qualms about doing that. Well, I, I have qualms. Uh, you know, I'm worried about hurting my yo-yo. You're so scared. I am. My brother was killed by a yo-yo, so I have issues. Thank <clears throat> you.